Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Today we are going to learn GCSTPM term 2 in topic direct current circuit shunt and multiplier. Okay, what is shunt? Okay, shunt can convert by shunt can convert galvanometer to emitter. Shunt is resistor of resistor lower than of galvanometer and it is connect in parallel with galvanometer. This is the example of the type this this is the example of galvanometer. What type of this meter? Okay, this is a milliemeter. What is the full scale deflection? Okay, we see here full scale deflection is 1 milliampere. And what is the resistance of the meter? Resistance for this meter is 170 ohm. A milliemeter can be modified to emitter by adding a copper wire connected in parallel with the galvanometer. You see here that the pointer show for uh, at the full scale deflection one milliampere. When we put the copper wire parallel to the meter the pointer here the pointer for uh, of the milliampere decrease become 0 0.2 milliampere okay what why this happen okay because a large fraction of the current bypass the milliampere and flow through the copper wire Then when we adjust the rheostat, okay, well, we adjust the rheostat until the pointer, okay, point to the full deflection. Okay, what is the resistance of shunt is required to convert this milliemeter to emitter? To convert a milliampere to full scale deflection 1 milliampere to 1 ampere, we want to know the value of resistance need. R1, which is in the meter, is 170 ohm. Current in circuit is 1 ampere okay, because we want to convert the milliampere uh, to 1 ampere okay, so the current in the circuit 1 ampere and current in meter in this uh, meter okay okay current in 0 0.001 ampere or uh, 1 milli ampere and current in shine we can find the current in shine by but uh, we can uh, find the current in shine by we minus current in circuit 1 ampere Minus current in meter 0 0.001 ampere. So we get current in shine okay, is 0 0.999 ampere. 
So calculation to find the value for R2 which is in Shan. Okay, we use uh, potential difference across Shan. Okay, potential difference across Shan equal to potential difference across meter because it connect in parallel. Okay, I2 R2 equal to I1 R1. So I2 is 0 0.99999 times R2 equal to 0 0.001 times 170. So we get the value for R2 which is 0 0.17 ohm. Okay, now we go to the multiplier. Okay, what is multiplier? Multiplier can convert galvanometer to voltmeter. The resistor of resistance higher than galvanometer. It is connect in series with galvanometer. Okay, as we see in, in this diagram, okay, the pointer is 1 milli ampere. So, the current that flow to the pointer is 0 0.001 ampere. And the resistance for the meter is 170. So, we can calculate what is the potential difference between the uh, potential difference across the meter. So we use V equal to IR, I 0 0.001 times 170 become 1, 1, 0 0.17 volt. To convert milliammeter full scale 1 milliampere to voltmeter full scale 6 volt. Okay, we want to convert this milliammeter, okay, 1 milliampere to voltmeter full scale 6 volt. Okay, by connecting a resistor in series with the meter. Okay, we connect the resistor in series with the meter. Okay, now, okay, the current that flow to the meter still 0 0.001 ampere. But the potential difference across multi emitter and multiplier must be 6 volt. So, what is the value of resistance that can be used to make the potential difference across them become 6 volt? So, we want to identify it. So R1 is resistor in the meter is 170. R2 is resistor in multiplier. That's the resistor we want to know. I current is in uh, current in the circuit is 0 0.001 ampere. And uh, V1 in meter as we calculate before 0 0.17 volt. And uh, potential difference in multiplier, okay, 6 volt. So, we use the equation potential difference, okay, equal to potential difference for all the system, which is in um, meter plus uh, multiplier. So, V2 equal to current times R effective. Okay, because the resistor connect in series, so we must uh, add these two resistor. Okay, current for the meter is 0 0.001 ampere. Okay, resistor for the meter is 170 ohm. 
and uh, resistor for multiplier. Okay, we want to know. Okay, we don't know. So we can calculate and we find that the resistor for multiplier is 5830 ohm. To convert to convert milliampere full scale 10 milliampere to voltmeter full scale 20 volt. Okay, to convert milliampere full scale 10 milliampere to uh, voltmeter full scale 20 volt. Okay, what is the value of resistor to be used? Okay, then we want to convert milliampere to voltmeter. So we use we use multiplier. Okay, multiplier that we put resistor connected series with the meter. Okay, R1 which is in the meter 20 ohm. R2, okay, which is uh, multiplier, we want to know it. Okay, current in circuit is 0 0.01 ampere. Okay, come from... This one and potential difference in multiplier k okay, twenty volt. We want to uh, convert it to twenty volt. Okay. It, uh, equal to uh, potential difference in uh, multiplier. So we use the equation V two equal to I R effective. Okay, I equal to 0 0.01 times R effective R1 plus R2 which is 20 ohm plus R2 so we get R2 equal to 1880 ohm example 1 a moving coil meter has a resistance of 50 ohm and full scale deflection of 20 milliampere calculate the resistance of the shunt required to convert the meter to measure current up to 5 ampere. Okay. You can draw the diagram like this. Okay, we want to convert uh, the meter okay, from uh, deflection from the full scale deflection 20 milliampere convert it to 5 ampere. So the current in the circuit must be 5 ampere and current in the governmeter is equal to the uh, full scale deflection which is 20 milliampere which is equal to 0 0.02 ampere and the current that bypass to the shunt okay we can calculate it by uh, 5 ampere minus 0 0.02 ampere so we get 5 uh, 4.98 ampere so we can we can solve the problem by using v uh, potential different across governometer equal to potential different across the shunt so ig rg equal to is rs so current in governmeter is 0 0.02 times resistance in governmeter 50 ohm equal to current in shunt 5, uh, 5 minus 0 0.02 times resistance of shunt Okay, so we get 
resistance of shun equal to 0 0.20 ohm. Example 2. A milliameter of resistance 500 ohm produces a full scale deflection when the current is 50 microampere. How will you convert the milliameter to a voltmeter with full scale deflection of 10 volts? We can draw the diagram like this. Okay, uh, resistance for the milliameter is 500 ohm. Okay, 500 ohm. Okay, uh, and full scale deflection when uh, when the current is 50 milli uh, microampere. So that means the current flow to the circuit is 5 uh, 50 microampere or 5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 ampere and we want to convert uh, milliameter convert to voltmeter so we must connect uh, a resistor series with the galvanometer so we call it multiplier okay, we want to convert it to voltmeter with full scale deflection 10 volt so the potential difference across p and q okay, must be 10 volt so we can use the formula v across pq equal to current time r effective okay, r effective is uh, resistance for galvanometer and resistance for multiplier. So, uh, potential difference across PQ is 10 volt equal to 5. Uh, current is 5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 time resistance for galvanometer plus resistance for multiplier. Okay, resistance for galvanometer is 500 ohm plus Resistance for multiplier, so we get R equal to 1.995 times 10 to the power of 5 ohm. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for this YouTube channel. Thank you.